Hi friends, uh, today I'm going to teach you how to make mutton dalcha. So uh, this is a Hyderabadi mutton dalcha and uh, please note the ingredients uh, to make it. So the first part of making mutton dalcha is to pressure cook the mutton. I have taken about half kg of mutton which uh, I have cut them into small to medium pieces and uh, now I will just pressure cook our mutton. So guys the uh, second part of making our uh, mutton dalcha is to pressure cook our chana dal. So what I have done is I have taken about 2 uh, cups of chana dal and I have soaked it in water for about 2 hours and I will now pressure cook it with some salt and little bit of turmeric. So guys I have taken the dal uh, into in the pressure cooker and uh, now I will be adding about uh, half a teaspoon of turmeric and I will be able to add salt uh, as per paste and now I will pressure cook it for about 4 to 5 whistles until our chana dal is cooked completely. So guys I have now uh, pressure cooked the dal and this is how it looks like after uh, around 5 to 6 uh, whistles and since we are making mutton dal cha so I would be mashing our dal uh, because we don't want uh, like you know whole pieces of dal uh, in our dal cha because um, that is the speciality of uh, mutton dal cha. Um, that the dal should be very fine so i'll just mash it so please note the detailed uh, ingredients uh, that we need so we would need about one large onion which i have cut them into uh, this shape and we would need about two big green chilies 15 to 20 green curry leaves about uh, one teaspoon of cumin half a teaspoon of turmeric powder about uh, two teaspoons of red chili powder and about uh, two teaspoons of coriander powder and we would also need about uh, two teaspoons of garam masala and uh, we would also need about uh, 10 to 15 black peppercorns uh, cinnamon stick and also 4 to 5 cloves and we would also need about uh, 250 grams of uh, white coat or uh, dhuti and we would also need about 2 medium sized tomatoes fresh coriander leaves We would also need about 2-3 uh, tablespoons of tamarind pulp and uh, rose water or kevda just for essence. So kevda is uh, um, optional. So guys now the oil is hot and I, I will now add um, cumin into my oil. also add uh, the other whole spices black peppercorns uh, cinnamon and cloves now I will also add uh, my onions so guys I'm done uh, frying my onions and uh, now at this point of time I will be adding the bottle board and I will let it fry in this so guys the uh, bottle board has been frying uh, with our onions for about one to two minutes and now I will add the tomato So guys uh, now it's time 
for me to add uh, our uh, fresh uh, cooked mutton. So what I've done is I have uh, like removed the water from our mutton uh, so that I can fry uh, mutton along with uh, the thing. So now I will add my curry leaves and green chilli. And along with this I will also add the other spices like the turmeric, the red chilli powder. masala and coriander powder so this has been uh, roasting uh, with the spices for about uh, two to three minutes and uh, now I will be adding the mutton stock which I had uh, separated earlier so we are not going to discard the mutton stock because it has got a lot of uh, flavors in it. So uh, our uh, bitter, bitter goat is now cooked completely and now it is time for us to add our tamarind pulp. So I will just strain it using a strainer. So guys, uh, now I will add our dal, uh, the mashed chana dal into this. And I will mix uh, all the things together. So now I will just adjust the water contents uh, into this. Uh, so this is too thick and uh, I will add a little bit of water. And I will cover it uh, with a lid. And I will let it cook for around uh, 10 minutes. So friends, uh, this has been boiling for about uh, 10 minutes. And uh, at this point of time, I will be adding a little bit of uh, kevada. That is about half teaspoon. And I will also add my coriander leaves. And I will just cover it and I will be cooking this for about uh, five minutes so friends my mutton dal cha is now ready and uh, we can eat it with bagare chawal and it tastes really nice so just try out this recipe and let me know whether you have liked it or not and also please don't forget to leave a comment on my videos and i also have a facebook page called mushy loves cooking so also um, visit the page and follow me on facebook as well thanks a lot for watching my videos